All right, let's go live. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in to GQuat Saturday, create and chat. Our new Saturday tradition at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Come on in the room. I say, come on in the room. Hello, Mike, Mike. Hello, Mike, Mike, Mike. How are you doing? Hello. Hey, Gina. Hello. Thanks for coming, everybody. Oh, live from South Carolina, from the beach, Cheryl Faulkner. Okay, everybody's got the phone in one hand. You have time. Go outside and get a rock. I guess you have some paint. Hello, Auntie Bev Jones. Thank you for coming and welcome. Joanne Stevens. Hi, Sissy. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming and welcome in the room. I missed you too, Gina. You guys are having so much fun. You and TT and Lydia at in South Carolina at the beach. That's one of the funnest beaches and airports, I might add. Hello, Maria Graham. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the wake up welcome. And how is everybody doing? Am I loud and clear? If you can hear me and I'm loud and clear, can you put a one in? A one in the chat? You know, I used to wonder before I started, oops, that's the wrong one. I almost hit end broadcast. I was trying to see the comments. I'm loud and clear. Okay, thank you, Mike. Okay, is anybody going to paint with me? Sissy, did you go outside and get a rock for Uncle Roscoe so that he can paint? We love arts and crafts together. Hello, Miss Ellen. Ellen's creation and camel, learning to quilt and sew. My ugly garden. Oh, you are too funny. Your garden is not ugly. For those of you who have not seen my ugly garden, he's a new channel to me. I subscribed this week. And what he has on, he dresses up as a scarecrow. The funniest thing you ever saw, Gina, just a, a small rock. Something, something, I have a bunch of rocks, something that's smooth. And what you're going to do is wash it off with a little soapy water and dry them. And for those of you who are new, this is when we started on Thursday. It's kind of jacked up, but the squirrels won't know or the birds or whoever's trying to steal it. You can use any size rock. For um, today, I just have a variety of rocks from this side if you're traveling gina i don't know if you want to be traveling with a bunch of heavy ones i got some that i thought were kind of smooth kind of smooth to paint on so welcome 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 for those of you who are new gquat as you see in the corner stands for garden quilt and art traditions i represent eight generations that i've been alive on this earth of family who gardens. We cook from scratch. We do the old homesteading arts. We do fine arts. As a matter of fact, my sister Joanne Stevens is one of the most fabulous glass artists you've ever seen. And we talk about the traditions, some of the things that we do, new and old. Some of the traditions are actually new that were suggested by the younger members of the family. In fact, two of my great granddaughters graduated high school the other night. Yay! Sydney and Simone, sometimes they go in grandma's room. Hello, Barbara Anley. Thank you for coming. Thanks, everybody, for hitting the thumbs up like button. Does Is anybody going to paint with me, Mike? Mike's chaotic gardening with all the suggestions. I know you got some paint out. I know you did. Uh, thank you, Auntie Bev Jones. 
So I'll give the others a chance to come in the room and I will show you what I've got over here. So this is just a little palette because rock painting is fun. Children can do it three, four, five. Got to be careful with the little ones though to make sure that they don't T-H-R-O-W the rocks. Now for painting on them, I kind of like the paste paints, but you can use anything. You can use whatever you have. If you've got any paints in the house, in fact, I think the first one I'm going to mix up will be some of just the traditional paint you get at Wally World or any craft store. Uh, why this one? Because it's big. I buy white and black in really big containers in the paste paint or anything because some of these rocks are really ugly and grimy looking. So like this one, he's nice and flat, but he's ugly. He's ugly. So what I think I'm going to do is paint him gray. So I will squish and the liquid paint dries a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to put, because I just want it to be like a little sheen, a little sheen. I don't know what color this is going to be. And I will take, this one feels like actually one of my Good brushes. The good brushes have nice, fine, um, nice, fine silk, but I'll use this. I'll use it. I'll just wash them thoroughly. So my palette knife is where I have bags of paint. I haven't been painting in the last eight years, but um, what's the channel? The Family Grow Network, Bev's King's wife was painting and she asked me to come up. Well, I hadn't painted for a while. Actually, I will use the end of this brush and mix it. Actually, this might be kind of cool, kind of marble. Some of you I know do acrylic pours. I have seen people take the acrylic the liquid acrylic and pour it over the rocks. And it was really beautiful. This kind of reminds me of that without pouring it on my MacBook. In fact, I think I won't mix it any further because I will get a mixed, mixed effect. So what I'm going to do, hi, Barb Bremley. Did I say hi? So do I paint any color you want, Gina? You know I want purple, but I don't want people to get sick of me in purple. Any any color. And because we're going to do a variety of things, this is actually darker than I wanted. I might as well have kept it its own ugly color. So what do I do? I'm going to put some paint in. And for those of you who are painting rocks the first time, most rocks have... A flat side. See, this one is really, really, really great. It's really pretty too. I'm not actually going to paint on this one. I'm going to put a word on it and just leave it, leave it clear. And see, this side is kind of round. So what you do is after you wash them, I put the flat side down because it's like seasoning meat. You want to do the back side first. Like, see, this one has this ugly stain on the back. Oh, yes, you're getting painted up, too. So I'll put you to, matter of fact, I'll paint you two ugly guys with the same ugly brush. So what I'm doing is just scrumbling. Oh, and see, I like this liquid part for painting the back side. And boom, he's done already. So I'll let him dry a little bit. Get some more paint on this other guy over here. And these are ugly colors. 
why i don't know just because it's neutral and i want to paint some bright colors and bright words on the other side sissy joanne stevens i know you've got all kinds of paint in the house you can go get some for uncle roscoe and he can okay maria you don't have any paint we'll have to get you some this week mike's chaotic gardening do you have mike wants to see it marbled well to do the marbling you actually pour it in sections and that takes a little longer well let's let's see what happens if i put it on without dabbling Okay, so I'm trying Mike's thing. Mike's Mike's always starting something. He is always starting something. So this is really cute. It's not... Oh, no, this is interesting. I'm going to pick it up in a minute. He said he wanted to see it marbled. It's not marble, but this was supposed to be the backside, Michael. But it's going to run and leave little lines. But I want to turn this part over and let him dry because one that I painted on Thursday, I want to make into a ladybug. How about that for the garden? Maybe she can keep some of those critters that are out there. You guys, guess what? I planted three borage seeds from scratch. I planted bur burdock, borage. I went out there. Does anybody know what kind of critters like borage, burdock? Because my whole plant is gone. But that might have been a two-legged creature because the sign, the, the, the sign that said what it was was gone. I put the sign out there because we're doing a lot of a lot of grow grow offs, a lot of challenges, and I know I know what everything is, but everybody else doesn't know what my stuff is. It's like you're labeling it for the grocery store. I have a community garden, and it's like oh, over here I do have a lot, a lot, a lot of lettuces out there. I have a lot of, lot of herbs. I mean, look at me. Look at me. Am I going to starve? I could literally fast for a year. So fast for a year and not starve. Uh, Mike said, he, Mike, you are a lot of fun. Miss um, Ellen said she likes to paint on wood. Oh, guess what? Guess what? I found these at the Dollar Tree and I'm sorry, the buck and a quarter store. And guess what? You can paint on these. One side actually kind of looks like wood, some type of particle board, but it's just about fun. This is not about paint being good. This is just arts and crafts, something to do. You can make little signs for your garden, but for sure you can go pick up a rock you don't have to spend a dollar and a quarter. That would be what, $2.50 right there? So I'm painting this guy gray. I don't know why I put all this paint in here. This would paint all of them gray. I'm not painting all these rocks this ugly gray. I actually, and for those of you who have never worked with acrylics, acrylic paint, when it dries, it dries a little darker. Than what how it looks when it's when it's um, when it's wet. Child, don't get old. You can't walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. Him, I like him, but he has so much paint on him. I want to dry him out. Now I'm gonna put him over there because I am going to wipe my fingers off. Hello, Robin Murphy. Thank you for coming and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am going to take some black 
Oh, stop, Auntie Ellen. I like to paint on wood. I'm going to put some black in here because we are going to turn this one into a ladybug. A ladybug. I like this big brush. So I'm just going to rinse him off in my handy dandy water over here. And no, you don't have to put a top on your water. Just in case I decide to be a klutz today, I don't want it on the computer. Okay, so everybody's talking to each other. So now, I think this rock that I painted on Thursday, I'm going to paint, trying to decide which one will be a head. A ladybug, the head's usually narrower, narrower. Then the tail. And it's it's fun, you guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to go out in the garden, out on the ground. And nobody would even see the bottom of this little ladybug. Gina, what color are you painting? Is anybody else painting? You have plenty of time to go. And Nikki and Hands in the Dirt are going live at 7. But most of us have more than one device. I can stay on and keep painting with you guys if you want me to. So this will be the ladies bugs. Little, little face and watch what I'm going to do for her body because this liquid paint is so wet. I'm going to Let's see, where are my markers? I'm going to, you can use markers. You can use, hello, Lashes Journey. Thank you for coming. You can take pieces of paper with words printed on them and you can glue it. You can glue them glue them onto the rocks uh, just by using some Elmer's glue. There's some Elmer's glue up here somewhere. But so look at this is the little ladybug's head and what I'm going to do just because it's easier, easier. I'm going to put a black line down her back. I could do the same thing with the paint, but my hands are not that steady. And I'm so excited to show you guys. So, the ladybug, let me put you over here because I want you to see I'm putting some little dots. I'm making them bigger on the ladybug. The 
Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Mr. Scarecrow, my ugly garden. Hello, Black Guns and Gardens. Thank you for coming. What we're doing today is just painting some rocks. This one, I intentionally, I, my, my smock got all messed up teaching arts and crafts to a couple of senior, seniors um, buildings over the last couple of years. So this ladybug doesn't have enough spots. I want her to have more spots. I don't know how many they're actually supposed to have. But how about this? Actually, she looks like a big red and black spotted mouse. Okay. And what color eyes? What color eyes? What color eyes should I paint her eyes? White or yellow big yellow eyes what color do you guys think i should paint her eyes so this is what she looks like so far how cute is that i'm going to give her some eyes so that she can see maybe i'll bright make some bright yellow eyes so I'm going to get some yellow paint over here. Gina, Gina, what are you doing over there, Gina? Maria Graham says yellow, yellow, yellow lashes. We all got the yellow connection. You use canvases and oil, sometimes acrylic. I, I, I love to paint too. I actually, I actually do some, well, I used to do portraits um, for the family. And I painted a really nice oil painting of my sister, Joanne Stevens, of my mom. I made an acrylic one of uh, my dad. Okay, so, you know, interesting. I was teaching an arts and craft class one summer for summer camp. And this is a trick I saw the kids do. I never would have thought of that. They took the end of the paintbrush and used it and used it. Oops, I think I'm sticking my arm in the paint. So she's got one eye. Isn't this fun and funny? I might have to put a little more paint on her because the black is underneath is so dark. Her eyes are different. I will turn her around in just a minute. The black is coming through, but I got paint all over my arm. So look at the ladybug. How cute is that? Isn't that fun? <laughs> Gina said, this is fun. You did a royal blue rock that she's going to put Gigi on. And she also did a red one. That's kind of small. And that's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to have a thousand purple rocks and pink rocks. And so there's a ladybug next to the strawberry. But the strawberry from the other day, I don't like the color. It, it dried, as I was saying, acrylic dries darker. It's really dark. I thought I saw a lighter green. I have jars of good paint. I've got paint on my chest. Okay. Maybe I'll try this color green. 
and everybody's uh, hi nikki the everyday life of an ocd ish chick i can see you and the kids especially your daughter painting look to have some bugs and things in your garden i want to now gina got ahead of me where's that big flat rock i had a big thing of purple oh yeah i think this was the, the thick purple so you know purple is my color i'm going to paint a rock with jquat on it garden quilt and art traditions and i'm going to and you know what guess what you guys you don't even have to paint anything on it you don't have to this is a really pretty blue i had big tubs of this paint oh he's saying hey mike i need your hands i need a man a man hands i wish my great grandson was here oh i'll have to open this for next time but isn't this like really pretty pretty blue gina gina this is like your color blue this is would be like several tubs of paint and it's acrylic but i've got all these in here and look at the ladybug and this one just because it's pretty i'm going to wash my brush and paint a little purple heart on it A little purple heart you guys some of you know what I do I take uh, this is an old canvas board when I'm cleaning my brushes I clean them on these old boards and then I use them for background sometimes I put fish on them flowers just just a bunch of fun things these for those of you who want to buy markers just for the ease of of marking on things you saw how fast i printed on that ladybug and they're oil-based paints i'm not being paid by these people but um posca these are really good oil pens hi drops thank you for coming and welcome welcome to the g quad the bell is oh over here family reunion bus where good friends become family and family is everything. This, this marker is just plain black. It's an oil marker, but this is what I use out in the garden. And the words don't come off when you put them on your little signs. Gina says, I only have acrylic paint, so it needs a bit to dry. That's okay. That's okay. We've got time. We've got time. So, this was red, maybe, maybe she'll be a ladybug, no, she'll be a strawberry, the last strawberry didn't, oh, I did put some green over there, and that's what I was going to do, this kind of looks like a strawberry, some of you know that on Etsy, you can buy strawberries and put them in your garden. And these are decoys. Keep the birds from out of your tomatoes. You wish you invented the pet rock drops. I have had so many inventions in my life. I'm always making stuff up. My sister, Joanne Stevens, will tell you. I'm just, I just make things up for no, no, no reason. So I'm just putting a little bit of green. to look like the top it's a little too light i think it's gonna but dry darker but this is fun right and we can mix colors we can mix colors so this one is kind of dry you take a little squirt bottle this was for something different and you can just spray it or dip your brush in water there's no right or wrong we're, we're just having fun just plain fun. I know Nikki's getting ready for her live at six o'clock. I know that hands in the Stacy hands in the dirt 
is on vacation. I don't know if he'll be checking in from there, but I don't know if Nikki's going to have any pictures to flash tonight of animal body parts or anything. Just saying. Just saying. So, this will be the head of the strawberry. I mean, the, the leaves. I think I need to bring it down a little bit. Sometimes at my mom's house, we take, uh, there's a big dining room table and we cover it with a tarp or whatever and take out lots of paints, lots of canvases and all the kids, everybody just gathers around and paints. So we'll pretend this is a strawberry with some strange color disease <laughs> green top. We'll put some more, hey, Barb Brownlee. <laughs> You call wind of mobilization, so maybe not. No parts OCD-ish. Oh, God, you guys are so funny. Wife sold on Etsy, but I built her a real website for her to sell her soap. Good for you. Good for you. I make soap. I haven't made any in a really long time. I've got all the stuff to do it, but you guys keep me so busy. I didn't. I, I just haven't done it lately. I've got all the stuff to make soap and different types of oils. So if this is going to be a strawberry, we need to put some little white dots on there. So I want to get some white paste paint. So I will take this big mama jama out. Oops, that'll paint a few dots. So it looks green because I haven't washed the brush off with soap, but it's okay. It has a fine point and I won't get all those big dots that I got the other day. Can you see the little strawberry dots coming on? Oh, you were a bit larger than you need to be. But this is just fun. This is not that serious. Now, we can make some serious paintings on rocks. So look at this little strawberry. If the birds, I'm not going to overdo it. If the birds will pick on your tomatoes when they're, when they're just starting to blush or whatever, they'll eat, they'll do whatever, whatever. Irene's gardening more, painting rocks. Hi, thank you for coming. Hope you're feeling well. And yes, just painting rocks. Now, this one that's just gray, oh, well, here's the bottom. Mike wanted marbling. It didn't marble because I put some on the other side. But you can pour, if you want to do the marbling, you can take a small cup, like a little mouthwash cup, and you pour paint in, in different rings, and then you pour it over the rock, and it'll glide down like a fountain. And it'll dry like that. That's how you do it. I can do it another week, but I didn't uh, prepare to have like an extra paper plate or something to catch the extra rings. So now that we've painted these ugly colors, let's get like some pink, some purple out. Oh, here's a pretty royal blue, Gina. Gina. I really wish I could open that big tub of that really pretty blue. Oh, and here's always, always purple where Auntie Ellen is around. Oh, this is the one that was already real thick. Okay. 
So wash the brush again. And I'll just use the container to paint. So this tiny little guy I'm going to put a purple heart on. Actually, it looks kind of like a butterfly. Maybe I'll make a little butterfly. Okay. So, this one is going to be a little butterfly, and I will put a little thing. See, we're just having fun. And maybe we'll give the butterfly some little spots or something. With a different color. Oh, this one has never been opened. Oh, okay. I'm not really a pink kind of girl. That's why. But it's opening today. And I usually mix uh, by the big uh, paints and mix my mix my own colors. Let's see what you guys are saying. Those are vol volcanic rocks. I have several in the back. I used to, uh, of the property. Um, when I was on the North Carolina homestead, we had so many pretty rocks with all the crystals on them. They were just so, 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 so pretty. So I'm going to put a little dot on you, a little dot on you. So look how cute is that, you guys? Can you see the little butterfly? Now, to finish these rocks up, to give them a little glaze, you can buy, like, just any type of paint finish or something at the store. I happen to have this big bottle jar of Mod, Mod Podge for different things, for decoupaging stuff. So, hello, Isella. Thank you for coming and welcome. I've seen your dolls, how you're remaking them and painting them over. So, you guys, you can finish it up to make them shiny with Mod Podge or anything you want. I'm not, I'm not promoting anybody. So, here is a gray stone. It's ew, ugly, just gray, ugly for no reason. But maybe I'll just put colored colored dots on it. How about that? Like a rainbow or something. Well, it won't be with that one because that was black paint. So let's do it. Oh, uh, for those of you who are new painting, one thing, always wash your brushes when you finish and dry them and when you leave them to dry shape them shape them this is like not a not too bad brush but you see like if i were putting it up i would actually shape it before i put it up to dry drops has a ton of asparagus and sweet potatoes from the food bank we volunteer for going to can them all that is really really cool really cool 
our farmers markets are just starting to open up here in Connecticut. And of course, I only started planting my stuff outside this week. So except for, except for herbs, oh, and my potatoes are doing really well. So what I'm going to do is open up a bunch of different colors just put some different colors on you're just stuck oh my hands are weak well I can't get you out another day you live to fight another day. It's too much red in here to be worrying myself about you. Like this. Here's another red. That's a good thing about when you've been doing arts and crafts for a long time. Stuff falls in your cart. You just have it everywhere. More yellow. More. Hey, David Corey. Thank you for coming. David, I don't know if you were in here when I was talking about the acrylic pores. I've seen a lot of people taking the acrylic and just pouring it like this looks kind of marbled. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to pour it out. And you take it and you put it in a small vessel, like a small mouthwash container or something, and you pour it over the rocks like you do some of your other pours, and they are just beautiful when they dry. So I'll stick some blue in here. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, my hands. I can't open these. These haven't been opened in a while. So how about this? Why don't I take some of the paints I do have open and just put a little dab of you on there. I'm going to leave it because I'll use it again. And I have enough brushes I can just switch them up. I will put some orange. Hope you'll come out. Oops. Yep, you came out. So... You topped yours with glitter rock and epoxy and glitter. We'll see how it dries. So isn't that fun? Just a fun little project. No reason. Just, just having fun. So we'll stick some orange on here. You got to go get a lot of rocks, Gina. A lot of rocks. I know what. Get some of these liquid paints out. They go faster. That was fast. Okay, so that one was orange. I'm going to have to spray you. You're thick. And these, you just put them in your garden or you trade with your friends. Whatever you want to do, just have fun. Life is short. And then you're off to wherever. The next, the next part, whatever that is, red, orange. So let's get some yellow on here. Yellow. I had green. I don't want that one. I want the liquid green. A liquid green. Whoa. Landslide. So you see how quick this is? I can see Nikki's house with her daughter with a whole trail of rocks all over the place. All painted pretty colors. Green.
Okay. Did I ever get the purple out? No. Nope. Purple. Oh, not you. Not you again. But I do have a liquid purple out. Somebody's going to have a lot of brushes to wash after this, isn't she? Oh, green. Okay, so purple. And red, look, red, orange, yellow, green. Oh, and I need a blue, some kind of blue. But meanwhile, I will put the top on you because we know what happens with Auntie Ellen. David said, you love, love, love bright colors. Good for you, David. You're a bright, bubbly personality. Oh, here's, oh, this is a bright, pretty blue called cool blue. Uncle Roscoe, you should be, I should be at your house. We'd all be painting together. Out by the pool or something. So, how cute is this? The other side is still wet, but I'm going to show you guys. That actually looks like one of my portrait bus brushes. And okay. So look at that, you guys. How cute is that? So we're just having fun. It's a nice day for a swim, sissy. I should be there. David, you're getting oxtails, opening jars. I have I have like two 10-pound bags of oxtails back there in the freezer. <laughs> Mike's chaotic gardening. Mike's just a little brother. You're welcome. You and your wife, you can both come. Hi, the jewelry spot. Thank you for coming. I enjoy watching you uh, making your jewelry. I saw you making those little the, those little bead things one day this week. Look at me paint and everything, paint on everything. So I've got all this paint out. No need. One mustn't mustn't waste it. Hey, Martika, thank you for coming and welcome. So I will just paint something else on these rocks. That blue was so pretty. So I'm just going to make a line. Why? No reason. Just because I felt like it. And whatever Lola wants, Lola gets. This big old thick purple. Where's the purple brush? David Crop. Oh my, you heard her. You and your wife. It's just me by my. You guys are terrible. Act it up. Act it up. Act it up. Okay, so I think this was the purple brush, but just in case, I'll dip it in water. Oh, it was. So, Gina, Gina. We're just putting colors on here for no reason at all because we don't have to have a reason, right? You can do whatever you want in life. And people ask you why, just look at me like you're crazy. You don't have to have a reason. Everybody gets to live their own life and do whatever they want. So I'm just putting a bunch of colors on this rock. Why? Because I wanted to. Every time I look, I hear something hit the floor. I'm like, uh-oh, because I live in an apartment now, and it has carpet over here, and I'm trying not to get it on there. I hate carpet. I hate, 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 hate carpet. 
but it is what it is, right? The um, this is a handicapped apartment, and you can't have people who are blind or partially blind. You have to go out and find a rock. That's like where uh, my sister Joanne is. It's all landscaped and everything, and except for the desert landscaping rocks, there are no natural locks, uh, rocks in her yard. I guess I have to come out there. Well, I'm coming out there anyway for a month later on this year, and we will just be out somewhere picking up rocks. Beach rocks are nice. They're nice, and I don't think I want that one there. I want a nice bright color. How about a nice bright yellow? I've been to, like, nurseries and things where people just come and visit, and they leave stones for no reason at all. Just, just fun. I'm just showing you guys something that you can do in your spare time with kids, with grandkids, your wife. You don't have to know how to paint, how to do anything. Just, you know, like they say in church and the choir, just make a joyful noise. Just do whatever makes you happy. Orange. What other colors do I have out? Maybe for no reason at all, except I have a lot of it over here wasting I will put some black some nice juicy black okay and maybe some white next to that so honestly David the carpet is toxic but he likes it out so it matters not Everything's paid for and own it all. Life is boring. We like it that way. Yeah. But you know, I tell you, just because stuff is paid for, just because you own it outright, it doesn't mean, it means that you still have to be careful and watch out for things because, you know what? I had my homestead. Everything was paid for. I thought I was set for life. Then I ended up with a catastrophic health situation. And guess what? $5 million worth of insurance is gone. And certain things, certain things are not covered. Certain types of procedures and whatnot. So you just have to make it on what you have. I have um, retirement. But, it's a, but once, once you don't have more income coming in, it's a fixed income. You have to find a way, make it work, and live on what you have. Live on what you have. So just because it's so bright, I will put some white on this end as well. And Gina, I don't know about that glitter. Have you all, have any of you ever gone out? Oh, um, you know, auntie's. 75 years old almost so she hasn't been out in a minute and somebody's got that glitter they're throwing it all over the place and you can't get glitter to your hair or your face everything all forever so how cute is this how cute is this and okay this little butterfly needs a little something else the yellow didn't really stand out, so maybe I'll put some orange in with the yellow. And then sometimes, you know what? You don't get what you want. You get what you need, and you have to be find a way to be happy with it. Okay. So, I'm going to do one little thing more before I turn this around. Because this little happy little butterfly is going to have some sun around him. Why? Just because I'm having fun. So... 
look at this little rock. Have you just let you die <laughs> no, with no bills? So I'm in heaven. That's what I. That's what I said. Thank you, thank you for coming. So here's a little rock. Oh, you know what? When have you ever seen a worry stone? That's what this is like. That's what this is like. When you keep something, or it could be a lucky stone you keep in your pocket. You have a golf tournament or something to do. So. You guys, Mike's cat, you at the club, Auntie, the glitter. Shoot, Mike, I was the one throwing the glitter all over the place. <laughs> I was the one throwing the glitter, Mike. Are you kidding? That was once upon a time, long, long ago. When the kids say, Nana, tell us a story. And I start with once upon a time, long, long ago. And they say, Nana, is this a true story? Or are you making it up? I'm making it up, you silly rabbit. <laughs> yes. So, you guys, well, did you have fun? The devil charges run everywhere. Don't you know that? Um, some of you have heard me say this before. My sister Joanne came home one day and she said, Sissy, I saw a bumper sticker today and it reminded me of you. It said that, Heaven doesn't want me, and hell is afraid I'll take over. <laughs> Just had some frozen peaches and hot biscuits. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you. Thank you for the strawberry preserves you sent. I didn't open them yet. You're 60. Take no pills. Never see a doctor, and you're doing fine. You're good. See you in a few, everybody. When I'll be over when I finish... <laughs> oh, you're going to post pictures, Gina? Yes, yes. Maria, you had per, per I don't know what, <laughs> what he's, what, what, what David is up to. But you guys, I had a ball. Thank you for coming. I'm going to stay on a little bit longer so that um, I can get an hour in tonight on my time. You're going to post time. So... Just get some rocks. Pick up some rocks. <laughs> Next time you go over a pothole, stop and pick up the rocks beside the roll. This was this was fun. And then I've got paint all over me. My shower will be like all different colors. So what I do is I take the extra paint and I just put it on canvas boards or whatever. Why? Just to keep from wasting it. And then sometimes I use these for backdrops for things. For different backdrops. So I will get a bigger brush just to take up some of this paint. Oh, as a matter of fact, I'll show you what you guys, what I did with some leftover paint a couple of weeks ago. Some of you saw it Thursday, but my clean off board that I used for cleaning my paints, I added some white to it and I put my great granddaughter's name on it. I'm going to put 2023 and make one for her sister from Nana. Uh, just a little, just a little something, something. And for all of you who are fathers, or have fathered someone, thank you, and happy Father's Day. Ain't nothing like breakfast foods for dinner or lunch. That's what we used to do growing up. Nice to see you too, Drops. Three-foot volcanic rocks you want? Uh, yeah, drop them off. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Roscoe. I'll call you tomorrow. You know that I will. Everybody, and uh, I appreciate... Those of you who have been here from the beginning, those of you who are new, and I just enjoy spending time with people who are just happy together for no reason at all. They don't want anything from anybody. Drop says his kid is 21. Gina, Gina, Gina with our three purple hearts. I was going to paint one on the stone, but the purple I had out was so thick. You know there are going to be three purple rocks Cheryl Faulkner says it's been fun. So, everybody, 
Thank you for coming. Look at me. I got paint everywhere. But it was fun. Who cares? Who, who cares? And all I got to do is get in the shower. Uh, G Quad Traditions. Peace, love, and blessings, everybody. This is an I. This is an L. I go, I'm okay, mommy. This is a U. I love you. Thank you for coming. And I'll see you Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Have a good weekend. I said, well, that speech is not for me, G Quad. You're single. Well, you're single, but you're a dad. Stop faking. And you've been, you fathered other people. So it is for you. It's for everybody. Love you guys. Thank you.